Welcome back and today we're going to take a look at the Concept Main Street. This is a Dirk Pickerton design and one that I always thought was pretty attractive, especially if you like the utility aspects of a Warncliffe blade. This particular one is in 154cm steel and it's got a very nice uh, stone wash finish on it. Uh, you do have jimping up top, but it is pretty much aesthetics only because it's uh, rounded over on the sides, so I don't get any traction from it, but not something that bothers me. It's, it's rather comfortable right there. You have a very scalpel-like point right there for doing drag cuts, which it should work outstanding for that, and bulky, bulky stuff. And uh, you have a perfectly executed sharpening notch. This is how it's done right here. You see how it just goes straight up from that plunge? You're going to get tons of sharpening light before it starts to widen up in the back. You have dual thumb studs there. We'll talk about that later. But I think it's time to do a little bit of cutting. This knife came with a really good edge out of box and being that it's a worn cliff you're going to have uh, the same amount of power all the way to that tip. And this thing is very slicey. Um, I, I didn't expect it to be as slicey as it is. I don't know exactly what it is behind the edge but very very nice and slicey and uh, it, it's holding the edge really nicely as well. Um, no problems with getting hung up anywhere and yeah I can't wait to see how it does uh, later on in the testing because it is a uh, nice and comfortable I decided to do a little bit of drag cutting and precision cutting because uh, that tip is like a scalpel up there uh, it's definitely gonna shine at this type of stuff love love using it that for that kind of stuff now uh now we're moving on to this piece of birch to test the ergo see how the edge wants to bite into the wood and i had so much power uh in that hammer grip it was nice and comfortable and the, the edge definitely wanted to bite rather quickly now if i would have wanted to i could have lightened up the pressure and did fine curls if that's something you want to do with the knife but no hot spots to speak of uh, rather comfortable and so far very very impressed love how it's performing <laughs> now being that this is a worn cliff i decided to raise the um <coughs> half inch sisal rope onto a block just so i can have more surface area for that edge to cut through the rope uh, other than that it would be hitting the tip right away so this makes it a lot easier to do um, other than that I just wouldn't have did this test it seems to be performing really really good uh, their factory edges usually do fairly well and uh, it doesn't feel like it's letting up any we end up getting through I think it's uh, close to 50 cuts I think it was like 48 cuts all together and I definitely think I could have done more but we'll see how it does with the remainder of the testing but yeah definitely you'd want to do this <clears throat> to try to get through the material it's just way too uncomfortable and too awkward to try to do it otherwise once again using that scalpel like tip to do drag cuts absolutely no problem now doing certain cuts whenever you don't have to put a lot of pressure into what you're cutting you can do it on the flat cutting surface you're just getting a very small portion of that edge onto what you're cutting <clears throat> doing this stuff i kind of just pulled back and forth to get through the very end of it wasn't the easiest but i, I just wanted to see if i could do it um, you got to be careful with that tip so you don't bury it in into whatever you're cutting on um, once again you can do this as well you just got to make sure you cut all the way down as far as you can without your knuckles hitting down but just like the rope <laughs> the denim would have been way too hard because it spreads out and I wouldn't have had enough edge on to what I was cutting so decided to lift it up and uh, yeah it's performing really good and that edge uh, still feels great uh, we'll test it once all this is done but <laughs> if if it if it's as sharp as it feels I think it's still really really good which is awesome and I must say when it comes to the performance of this knife I was pretty impressed uh, it's comfortable it sliced well 
and it, it, the edge seemed to last all the way to the end so what more can I ask for uh, we'll see just a second how it, it ended up let's take a look at this edge it feels great that's all, all I can really say yeah look at that oh man I'm trying to do whoop, I was trying to do an S curve yeah <laughs> excellent all right, let's take a look at the deployment action of the knife. You have dual thumb studs and you have a crossbar lock acting as a detent. It's nice and snappy, very, very drop shut smooth. Um, now the detents on the lighter side, not too light, but I can pretty, uh, you know, not easily, but I can wave it out. About, about the same as a normal Benchmade. Um, now I will say the thumb studs, I don't know if it's just the coating or not, but they are a little bit slick. I, I haven't had uh, much problem slipping off, but I, I have slipped off once or twice. Now let's take a look at the handle area. You have Peel Ply G10 that it's not really that grippy. I'd call it light to medium traction on there. Uh, you have a Torx T8 for the pivot and the body screws. Nicely done. Now, one thing that I think they missed a mark on is that this is a tip for left, I mean, right-handed carry only. With a crossbar lock, that just doesn't really make sense because it's a completely ambidextrous lock. It should be a completely ambidextrous knife. Now, maybe that's something that Dirk Pinkerton didn't want. I don't know because this is his design. So, uh, I don't know, but definitely think they should have had a tap for lefties as well. You have flow through construction with two hourglass standoffs in the back right here. You do have some jimps there that don't really serve much of a purpose. You have tons of internal milling to lighten up the stainless liners. First off in grams, 129.2 grams or 4.55 ounces. So not a lightweight, but I had no problems carrying it. Your clip is deep carry. However, they did not countersink the screws or the pocket clip. So you could run into problems with material getting hung up on there before it goes all the way to the end. So that's something I definitely wish I could have seen them do there. Now the pocket clip screws are T6. That's the only T6, T6 screws you have. I'm okay with that. Uh, the centering is perfect. Lock up. Absolutely bank vault, no side to side whatsoever, which is pretty amazing because of how uh, how smooth this is. No up and down. They did an outstanding job with the geometry on this crossbar lock, uh, especially having it be that smooth. I mean, it is riding on ceramic bearings, so that is part of the reason, but man, it's nice. This is just a regular crossbar lock. It's not a clutch lock or anything. You can't adjust it, which is kind of unfortunate. Size comparison with the Ontario Rat Model 1 and 2. Next up, we have the CJRB Krog and the Kaiser Critical Mini. It's about the same size as the Krog. Last, we have the Western Active Large Honey Badger and the Concept Nest Street. Both of these excellent size references. All right, let's go over the nitpicks and complaints again. Like I said, the thumb studs are a little bit slippery. Not, not terrible, but they definitely could have added a little bit more texture to them. Uh, if you like jimping, this is not going to give you any uh, extra grip. And definitely, definitely the biggest thing is I think they missed the mark by not having it tap for lefties as well because it's a, it could be a completely ambidextrous knife. But other than that, my overall thoughts on the knife, I absolutely love it. Definitely think it's worth it. One that I could recommend. It performed very well. It was nice and comfortable. Uh, very powerful worn clip blade there and super, super smooth action. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.